Hey guys, in the last video I did an unboxing of the Must Tool G700. I mentioned that the stand it comes with isn't that great because it wobbles due to the base being hollow and plastic flexes. So in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of the aluminum alloy stand, boring out the ring that holds the Must Tool G700 and taking apart the microscope to help it fit in the stand. Please note, this is not a paid promotion, this is just something I paid for that will be helpful in my upcoming videos, that way I can inspect welds and anything that's smaller. It did come from Banggood. This stand comes with an allen key, two screws, base, arm, and bracket. Pretty simple to put together. One of the things I don't like about this stand is the base is silver and should be black as it can reflect light and blur out the camera. I haven't found this to be an issue yet, but it could be a simple fix with paint or a black piece of paper. The other thing I don't like about this stand is when you move the arm down, the scope itself will vibrate and is very annoying. It can make the camera bounce. <laughs> The stand beats the other one for sure that came with the Mustol G700. This is by far better. There's not much to say. It is a pretty good stand. It's just not great for fitting the G700. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of modifications to this. So the next part I'm going to be doing, um, I'm sure at least 99% of you guys won't do this. Um, unless you guys are one of those like techie type of people that will probably follow what I'm about to do. So it's time to bore out the ring on the arm since the aluminum alloy stand is going to be really hard to do. Uh, you're usually supposed to use like aluminum oxide grinding stone or some diamond uh, grinding stone. I had to use what I had so I went through a few of uh, the little stones that I had to try to bore it out uh, as best as I can. Uh, unfortunately it didn't turn out the way I wanted. However I was able to successfully um, set the scope all the way in and I'm going to be showing you um, some of the video clips here and uh, enjoy so I have my Dremel here it's already fully charged ready to go I have a cheap Chinese set of stuff in here for my Dremel not really sure what I'm going to use yet but I do know that it's going to be a disc of some sort maybe this one right here yeah Maybe that little fella right there will actually work. Alright. I'm gonna do with that piece. It's kind of cold out here. What the fuck is that? Hopefully, this little uh, grinding disc is gonna work on aluminum alloy. I don't know. I'm gonna have to find out here. So, I'm just going to go on the inside here. Some off so that scope fits. We go from there. Trap. Missing something. I had to go fetch my glasses. Just want to have a peek at this. Ooh, she's hot. I'm fairly warm, but somewhat working. We got a lot to go. Chinese parts fall apart. Oh, that must got extremely hot. It turned into rubber. Okay, so I'm gonna just continue with this. So what I did after when I used all these sandstones, quite a few of these are bent and wobbly, some are actually shattered. Uh, definitely 
not the right ones you would use in order to deal with that aluminum alloy. Um, but that's all I have, and that's all Chinese crap, so I really don't care. Um, I'll use the tap of die set in order to bore out the uh, threads again. And uh, it's from the sandstones and aluminum alloy, you can kind of see some shiny stuff there, so yeah. I was able to get most of it off, but I'm just going to say screw it. I went through two batteries of my Dremel and pretty much ran out of uh, sandstones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this thing apart and I'm just going to shave the top end here. I don't care if it's rough or not. This thing already has quite a few marks on it. So as long as it's functional, I don't give a crap about uh, how it looks. So I'm going to take this thing apart. So I guess you guys are going to see the inside of the Mustool G700 and uh, have a look, see what's inside. I just want to pull the guts out of here because I don't want any shavings to go into the camera. Look under here. We got some, what is that, dust? I don't know what's in there. Um, I'm not taking the board out. I just want to get that camera out of here. So there's a couple of pieces here. What do we got? Okay. And this lens should pop out. Did they glue that in there? It looks like they heat glued it in here. Is that just normal glue? I don't care, but I'm going to pull it out. Yeah, they heat glued that in there. Okay, so I guess I ain't taking it out. So yeah, apparently this is... Uh, glued all the way down here which is a bummer uh quick note i just took these screws out and it looks like the whole thing wants to slide out i'm just going to be very careful okay so there's uh the camera sensor so uh oh things are falling out so i was able to take the camera out which hopefully i didn't screw it because there's two poles that um, solder up to the LED lights that were holding itself in. That's pretty much what was holding it all together. And uh, I was able to take it out. So what I'm doing now is actually kind of making a mess here. I'm grabbing sandpaper here. This is a uh, 220 grit. And all I'm doing is what you see here. Mm. My hand's starting to go red right there. You can kind of see that. Uh oh. Did I just break it? Mm. No, I just popped one of the... Uh, ends there which is all right i'll just pull it right out then yeah they fucking glued that okay since i have this must tool g9 700 uh ripped open i'm going to show you guys the camera there's really not much to it i don't really want to open up too much because the sensor is on the other side of this actually yeah you can see right here that's what it looks like it just follows a track in and out these little stems here actually power the LEDs while it holds on to this so I'm gonna have to unsolder this one get rid of this solder here let it out So, crazy glue, yeah, wow, sticky stuff, there we go, I just want to put a little bit in here, on the edges, you know, it actually looks like they had crazy glue on this already, so now all I just have to do is wait, I'll come back to this in a bit, okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this lens, um, as you can see, it works right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put it back into its place. So there is, uh, so it's hard for you to see it, but where's that tooth pick here? All right, the dental pick I'm using on to put these two bars back into the places. It's gonna be easy. All right, there we go. Um, as you can kind of see right there and there, I'm gonna push in the chip up a bit. Okay, so I gotta be careful with this, that way it doesn't come out. So we'll just kind of keep you like that. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery bank back in and uh, screw everything down. Kind of strange how they have this thing set up. All right, so what they ended up doing here is um, this camera lens is the only being held by the LED light here which I find is really dumb, but uh, that's exactly what they did. I'm gonna, actually, I don't wanna put it just in just yet. I just wanna make sure that I get the ribbon cable back in there. And kinda hold this camera in place. I don't want it to come out. Should twist you around here. Cause I can see this camera will flop right out. All right. The ribbon cable is now in. It's going to be easy with this thing. I don't want it to fall apart. Uh, I'm going to put the battery back in. Alright. It's on. It's looking right at uh, the Scott towel over there. So I'm just going to turn the brightness up just a tad. So I'm just going to kind of hold the ribbon cable. I don't want this thing to come out. Really hold it. It's just the right way. No, it's not. And they should work as soon as I touch them. Yeah, there we go. So what I just did there is I just wanted to check what direction the LED lights go. And I'm going to solder this back into place. So I'm just going to try to clean up these ends a bit. I really wish there was no solder on it. Uh, hopefully it will just slide right into place. This is a bit of a silly system we got here. I'm going to clean off those ends a bit better. Alright, that was a pain. Um, I pushed it in as far as I can go. I am just going to plug this thing in though. I just want to make sure before I do solder um, that the polarity is still the right, right direction. Yeah, it's turned on. Okay. It's pretty crazy that it's just solder that's holding the camera in here. It's actually kind of dumb, but that's what they did. Put a little more on there. Does hurt? Come on. So I kind of already uh, put some tape in there to kind of hold it while I was soldering. So I might just leave it in there. It is actually vapor barrier tape. It's the strongest tape that I know for stickiness. Ooh, I gotta be careful with that battery. As you can see, I kinda got something in there already. Um, it's not con conductive. If anybody's used vapor barrier tape or tuck tape, they call it, uh, you know how strong this crap really is. If that moves, then it's pretty crazy, but I'm not going to be forcing this thing, so I don't think it really matters too much. Here we go. Double check again. Oh, yeah. It would help if I put a battery in there now, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. Everything works. Let's put the last four screws back in, and... She's good to go. With the amount of work I did, it's worth it to me. It took me a while, um, but I, I successfully did it. For the stand itself, holy, that that was a pain to try to take some of that aluminum off. But uh, I, I could have been able to do it properly with something else, but I just didn't have the right type of sanding stones to do it properly. Either way, the next part I got to do now is put on some wheel bearing grease. I'm going to be using that to hopefully fix the bouncing issue and it can slide up and down properly. Alright, so I have some wheel bearing grease here that I'm going to be using. I've been using this on pretty much everything for years, as you can see. 
So my plan is is to put some on the track here. So the idea is that this thing shouldn't be jumping anymore and it should slide up and down properly without getting stuck. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just keep moving this thing up and down and lubricate it. It's already actually feeling a lot better. Some more here. So yeah, the stand is by far better. Um, it's it's designed for other type of mus tools and uh, some other type of uh, microscopes. It wasn't really designed for this one, but uh, it would have been nice if uh, the G700 there would actually fit properly in there. I don't see why in the heck they just didn't uh, have a uh, larger ring on the stand itself because it has two screws. So I don't really get that part, but... Anyways, it, it does fit, as you can see, and it's um, something that I'm going to be using now on, and I'm just going to be putting that other stand away. I don't need it anymore. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please do raise subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.